Okay, welcome to the virtual club night again, guys. Northwest Day virtual club night with uh, Anthony Parkinson this week uh, from Judo Education Formby. Really excited to have Anthony on board. Uh, came through the Northwest Area team with with Ant, so uh, really knowledgeable guy, and I'm sure he'll show you some awesome stuff. So as usual, um, when we're doing the uh, the Zoom stuff, make sure you've got your name on your screen, so Anthony isn't calling you by your your mum's name or anything like that. Okay. And then also, um, whilst you are uh, training, if you can make sure your, or even from now, sorry, if you can make sure your your uh, Zoom is on mute. And what that does is it allows us to make sure that we've got um, Ant's voice coming through to everyone and it's not interrupted, okay. Uh, final point as well, if you can make sure you've got your um, cameras on as well, um, so we can keep an eye on what's behind the camera, okay. Um, I think Amber's got a hand up to say something. I'll let you ask your question, Amber, and then we'll get cracking, okay? Is, like, taking the, the session today? It's Anthony Parkinson from um, Judo Education Formby. Yeah, he's a, he's a Commonwealth silver medalist, and he's also a multinational medalist at, uh, as a cadet and a junior, so he knows his stuff. Okay, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the session. All right, and without further ado, Ant, I'm going to let you on, mate. We've got to finish about five two, pal. Um, okay. Just so the guys that are older can get onto the British judo session. All right, mate. Over yeah. to you, pal. Right, because I'm using my phone, there's only a few people I can see, um, so there won't be that much interaction. But if you could just do your best to, to follow exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and we'll we'll do a we'll have a good session. I can see Sam, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Dingle. I can see Molly and Josh. Okay. All right, guys. We'll get warmed up. If anyone's joining late, they can just join in with the warm up. Come on, Nolan. Okay. Let's bow first. So everyone, stand up and face the camera. Face your your phone. Arms by your side. So when I shout Ray, bend at the waist. Ray. Okay, jockeying on the spot. Lift your knees up high. Heels up behind you. Jump in, forwards and back, side to side, one foot forwards, one foot back, arms as well. Now feet forwards, arms to the side. Feet to the side, arms forwards this way. Jogging on the spot. When I shout, had you be sprinting on the spot as fast as you can? Had you be? Faster. And jogging slowly again. Keep your feet moving. And sprint. Had you be? Fast. Faster, 10 star jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mate, head circles. Change direction. Arm circles. Other way. One forwards, one backwards. And do the one forwards with the one backwards.
This way. Is that your mum having a nap, Charlie, in the background? This way. Pulls. Pushes. Arms out. Fingers like this. To the side. Ceiling. Hip circles. Change direction. Stand with your feet apart. Keep your body upright. Stretch to the right. And to the left. Now lean forwards, touch the floor, behind your legs, touch your toes. Ah, camera's fallen. Okay, stand up, feet together. And try and touch your toes. Now balance on one leg and lift. Lift your heel to your bottom. Now balance on the other side. Same exercise again. Okay, now in front. So, lift your knee this way. And the other leg. Okay, give your legs a shake. Arms, body. Okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of uh, like pyramid exercise. So we're going to use star jumps, press ups and sit ups. We're going to start at 10, work our way down to two and then work our way back up. So star jumps, touching the floor every time. We'll do 10 of those. Had you beat, off you go. Once you've done 10 star jumps, 10 press ups. Good press-ups, bending your arms, chest to the floor. Go on, Sam, 10 press-ups. Once you've done 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups. Okay, stand up. Come on, hold. Now eight. So eight star jumps, touching the floor every time. What you mean? And eight press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sit ups. Good, stand up. Six, let's go. How'd you beat? Six. Press up, six. Sit ups, six. Try and keep up. 
Okay, now Nolan's on four. Four star jumps. Four press ups. Four sit ups. So we'll be moving faster through your exercises now. Two star jumps. Two press ups. One, two. Right, take a little rest. If you've got a drink, get a little drink because we're going to work our way back up. Back up to 10. Why are you eating a tomato for you, weirdo? <laughs> okay, once you've had a drink, start off with your press ups. No, wait, sit ups. We'll work our way back up. So you're going to do four sit ups, four press ups, four star jumps, and then we'll go six and eight and ten. Okay, so four sit ups first of all. How'd you mate? Off you go. Four press ups. Four star jumps. Good. Now six. Six press ups. And six star jumps. Now eight. Come on, Nolan. Well done, Molly. Okay, when you get to your 10, just stop and we'll all do 10 together. Okay, we ready? Everybody stand up. Don't worry about if you've still, still got a couple left. We'll all do 10 together. So we're going to do 10 really, really good star jumps, really good press ups, really good sit ups. 100% effort on every single one. Okay, you ready? Star jumps, 10. Hajime, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Press ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And your last set, sit ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Mate, well done, guys. Excellent. Get yourself a drink. Okay. If you have the space, I want you to try your best. I think looking around, everyone can, can just about do this. Just be aware of the space around you. I want you to do five normal forward rolls. Okay, so just five normal forward rolls, and then we'll move on to backwards. Okay, in your own time, five forward rolls. Now, Jimmy, off you go. Stand up after each one. Make each roll an individual roll. Good. Okay, this time, stand up. Five backwards rolls. Each backwards roll we do, we go from a standing position like this and then start again. That's your Roll over. Good. From standing each time. You done five? Yeah. yeah. Stand up. Okay. This time when we do our backwards rolls, I want you to finish in a straddle. So our legs are really, really wide apart. Okay. So backwards roll. Can you do that, Nolan? Roll right over and finish with wide legs. Standing up like this. 
really wide legs. Okay, five of those, please. Off you go. Good. If you can, try not to bend your knees as you do this. Just finish with straight wide legs. Good. Again. Okay, once you've done five of those, the last set is similar, but it's forward roll. So you're going to roll forwards and try and get yourself into that strap. I can't hear. Okay. Once you've done five each, you're going to play. Uh, we'll play a game of dead arm. Okay, it's been ages since we've played this. So yeah. All you have to do is exactly what I say as fast as you can, and we'll just have a few rounds moving into the different positions. Okay? So we'll not play last person is out or anything like that. Uh, we'll just have a go at the game. So, first position. On your front, so that will lie flat in your tummy on your front. Like that. Second position on your back. Third one is like a dog position. You've got to be quiet, Ant. You're going to be quiet, mate. Oh, is there, is there no sound? Where's the sound from? You keep cutting out, and you're loud again now, maybe when you walk too far away, you're going a bit quiet, pal. Oh, right, okay. It's good you're coming through this microphone. That's why. Yeah, it just suddenly went off a minute ago, pal. Just went really quiet as if it just disconnected your headset, to be honest. That's what it sounded like. Okay, can you hear me now? We'll do it without that. So, yeah, it's still a bit quiet, mate. You have to shout. Right, we're going to play dead hands. You ready? Can you all hear me? That's better, mate. Yeah. On your yeah. front. On your back. Like a dog. Dead hand. Catch a ball. Like a dog. On your front, on your back, like a dog, dead ant. Like a dog, catch a ball. On your front, catch a ball. Disco. Like a dog, catch a ball. Catch a ball, like a dog. On your front, on your back. Like a dog, catch a ball. On your front. Dead hands, five star jumps. Up, up, up. Like a dog. Catch a ball. Five press ups. Catch a ball. Okay, well done, guys. Right, take just a couple of minutes break. I, I'm just, not a minute, sorry, about 20 seconds. I'm just going to try and sort this headset out uh, so that you can hear me for the next part. So get yourself a little drink. Danny, can you hear me through the headset? I can hear you now, mate. Yeah, yeah, you're quite loud. Loud now, mate. But when you were standing back by your sofa, it went all quiet. Oh, can you hear it now? Yeah, still it now, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Still, still the same volume. Yeah, that's all right. Going quiet. No, it's okay now, mate. Yeah. I don't know okay. if it just disconnected. It's weird. Okay. I'll 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 put okay, a chat okay, thing on if it goes off again. So if you stand up, face the camera, we're going to do some footwork for Diaski Barai. 
So all, all I want you to do is move in backwards and forwards across the room. First position is you're going to step with your weaker foot. So if you're, you're right-handed, you step with your left foot first. And then you're going to sweep with your right foot. And you're going to keep that leg as straight as you can and try and make contact with the floor as you push that foot to the side. Don't do anything with your arms just yet. It's just practicing that footwork. So it's step with your weaker foot and sweep with your right foot, okay? Or if you're left-handed, step with your right, sweep with your left. Keeping this leg as straight as you can. Try and keep upright and try and keep your balance as you do this. So you're not stepping and sort of wobbling over like this. Everything stays still. Step and sweep. So if you can, move backwards and forwards up the room this way. If you can, if you've not got the space, then just stand still and step. And try and do 10 on each leg. Okay? In your own time, as you may, off you go. Step, balance, sweep. Same as the opposite, step, balance, sweep. So everything straight forward. Don't turn your body, don't twist like this. Keep everything straight forward. Okay, once you've done 10, I want you to bring the arm into it now, and this is gonna follow the leg. Okay, so as I step, if I'm doing it right-handed, step with my left, the arm and the leg go at the same time. All right, so it's step here. Same to the left, step, just this arm, this way. Again, try and keep everything straight so you're not wobbling or bending that leg that's doing the sweep. Come on, Joshua. Turn on each side. Straight leg. Point your big toe. Arm as well. Okay, once you've done 10 on each side, should be nearly there now. We're gonna add just one more part into it. So this is if our opponent was trying to sweep our leg. So what you're gonna do is to avoid that sweep, you're gonna kick your heel backwards. So you're kicking your heel to your bottom like this. So their leg will have just got in front of you and you're gonna follow it and do the same stuff. Okay, so it's step here, bring the leg forward, avoid their throw, and then sweep. So it's step, avoid, sweep. Okay, 10 on each side. Step, avoid, sweep. Step, kick your bottom with your heel, and sweep. Step, kick, sweep. Step, kick, sweep. Everything at the same time now. So kick and arm as well. Here and here. Here and here. And your foot should just scrape across the floor. Should be should be able to hear that sound of your foot moving across the floor. Okay, good. Now we're gonna move on to Marotta and Nagi. We'll try and put them both together as well if we have time to be able to squeeze it in. Okay, so we're gonna go right and left. If you're doing it right, first of all, step with your right foot, arms up as if you were gripping a collar and a sleeve. Turn your back completely and elbow underneath, and your feet should point forward the opposite way. So step here, arms up, keep the arms in the air as you turn. Okay? 
Set arms up. Keep your elbows quite high in the air as you turn. As you feel more confident, turn quicker. Okay, so 10 on the right and then 10 on the left. Set, spread, keep the arms up. Set, turn fast. Set, spin, set, spin. Same to the left, arms up, fast turn. Set, spin. Okay, now finally, we're going to do the Diashi Barai. So it's sweet here. As that foot goes down, then you're going to turn. Okay, if you Diashi Barai with your right foot, so if you sweep with your right, I want you to turn to your left. Okay, if you Diashi Barai with your left, I want you to turn to your right. Okay, so it's going to feel a little bit strange because if you're a right handed player, I want you to be sweeping with your left, pulling down the sleeve with your left as well, here, but then turning to your right. Because I want them moving that way onto my back. So sweep here and turn. So all together, sweep, turn. Sweep, turn. Then the other side, sweep, turn. Sweep, turn. And to your favorite side, let's do three on your favorite side as fast as you can. One, three, two, Okay, excellent. Right, guys, I think that's all we have time for. Can you that's hear me? That's great, Anthony. Yeah, that's great. Um, thanks for that, mate. Really good session, that. Well done for everyone turning up again. Working out on the fitness bit there and then that nice little combination, working with your partner, getting onto your back, turning in for the technique. That was lovely. Uh, thanks for, uh, for seeing a few new faces as well tonight. That's nice to see. Um, the next one for the area sessions is Wayne Lakin's Warrior Training on Thursday night. You're all welcome to join on that one. That's a six o'clock start. So we're going back to six o'clock for that one. So anyone who wants to join that, that's the same link as what you've joined tonight, guys. OK, but you want to be on there for five to six for a six o'clock start. Um, thanks so much to Anthony from Judo Education Form Bit. You've been brilliant, mate. Uh, and up to the day, we'll, uh, we'll get working with you guys in the future of the area squads and, and, and whatnot. So thanks so much for your time, mate. Um, I yeah. think Amber's got a question before we go. She's got a hand up again. Go on, Amber. It's not a question, but I just got, I just want to say that I really enjoyed that session. Oh, that's brilliant. We like that feedback, don't we, Ant? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. So oh, any sorry. of those in my, in my classes, hopefully, well, we will see you next week for training out, outside. Okay, we'll have a training session outside and then on the 12th, depending on what the British Judo come up with, we should be indoors. Okay. Yeah, we're all looking forward to that, aren't we? Getting back yeah. indoors. I know some, I should be seeing some of mine as well next week outdoors. And hopefully some of us that are on here will join up with their clubs outdoors as well from, from next week. Um, but yeah, we all can't wait to get back in our dojos and start doing the job properly. Yeah, can't wait. All right then, team. Well, we'll let you all go. Uh, I know some of you have got another session with the British Judo now, so I'll let you jump on that. Okay, and uh, enjoy your rest of your Tuesday evening. Thanks, everyone.